On this episode of Tech Tips Suggested Software, that is TTSS, we're gonna dig through the NCIX team's browsers and find out what they're doing on a daily b Oh no, we're gonna be looking at their plugins and browser extensions. <laughs> we don't even want to know that other stuff. We're like Gabe Newell. <laughs> oh! Fuh, <huh>, no! <laughs> no! Now, the NCIX team here is, they're kind of fans of Google's Chrome browser. While it isn't head and shoulders above the rest of the browsers in speed like it used to be, uh, they do still like it best when compared to Opera, Firefox, and <clears throat> all of the others out there. As an added bonus to the team here, um, they're all Android guys, and there are some neat subtle integrations to be had with Chrome on your phone and Chrome on your desktop. Not to mention that everyone in this room does at least some work on YouTube, and and Google tends to, you know, a little bit of favoritism, you know, in terms of their own services and how well they function on Chrome compared to some of the other browsers, which kind of come in and out of, you know, favor with Google. So first up, we have a screenshot of Wheels' rig. As you can see, it has quite a few plugins in that upper right-hand corner. Let's go one by one and see what he's got. First up, he's got Google Tasks. This is a little-known service that Google users have always had, but is rarely used and not very well documented. <laughs> like so many things Google does. Uh, Wheels uses the official plugin to keep track of grocery lists, production checklists, and just generally as a to-do list. The service is synced with a corresponding app on his phone. Google Mail Checker is next. At the most basic level, it is a simple button linked to your inbox. It also shows a number based on how many unread emails are in your inbox. Good for those OCD users like Wheels who like all their emails to be read. Und all red! Not so good for others who let them pile up like me. I actually always have about 150 unread in my inbox. Yay. Uh, Facebook Notifier is next, similar to the Google Mail Checker, except the number indicates Facebook notifications and inbox messages. Also, instead of a simple hyperlink button, it actually shows a two to three line pop-up of your five latest inboxes and notifications, five latest inboxes, messages, and notifications, so you can see if it's worth your time to go into Facebook and respond or read in more detail. And of course, because this is Wheels Work Computer, <laughs> it is never worth his time, because that's company time. Next up is Chrome to Phone, which is kind of neat. And if you're an Android user and you install this app on your phone, it sends links, maps, phone numbers, and whatever you want to your phone. Wheels uses it primarily for sending maps to his phone when he leaves or sending phone numbers to call. Next up is Hangouts. This is a little bit special. and It's actually a desktop app that runs using the Chrome framework. It's actually a standalone app that runs outside the browser with its own interface and windows. The NCIX team uses this for all of their communication internally for sending sending stuff back and forth. Awesome screenshot. This is used to send screenshots of part of the screen, the whole screen or an entire website. Once you've done that, there are some basic markup tools for making more money. I mean, uh, for highlighting or pointing out stuff in the screenshot, like actually marking it up. And uh, there's actually an interesting behind the scenes story here to get long screenshots of entire websites for Netlinked keys used to grab a bunch of screenshots and stitch them together in Photoshop. Really? Never heard of Snagit either? Uh, yeah, anyway. So now, this plugin can capture the entire web page and take care of all that extra work that he was doing on company time. Larry Filter for Twitter. Wheels uses this for managing Twitter and allows him it to him to filter out retweets and likes of the YouTube videos so that he can focus instead on the actual questions and comments. So if you ever tweet something at Wheels, he'll have no excuse for not seeing it. Next up is Signals. This is a cool extension that tracks email opens and clicks directly in Gmail. Every time an email is opened and each time a link in that email is clicked. So no more guessing to see if somebody's received your email. It's good to know he's using that. There's also an imager extension, very simple and similar to the awesome screenshot 
thing, except it uploads to Imgur so you can easily share those images with anyone you would want. There are two other things that aren't displayed next to the Omnibar, YouTube Center and Res, or Reddit Enhancement Suite. There is so much to say about those that it could easily be a separate episode, but basically they enhance your Reddit and YouTube experience very much with a ton of customizable features. Keys used to have a ton. He recently purged a bunch of extensions when he was that he wasn't using as he started to see performance take a dive. The only thing that's really different that he has is Pocket, which allows you to hold a bunch of bookmarks that you want to view later and sync them to your mobile device. On your mobile device, you can use the share function in whatever app to add stuff to your Pocket as well. As for Jack, he likes his Chrome browser to be nice and clean. Other than an Adobe Acrobat plugin, he's got a completely stock Chrome experience. And then on the script, it says, Linus, insert your own faves if you want here. I have that Twitch improvement one, and that's actually it. I am not much of a Chrome uh, extension user. However, there's one that Slick's been using lately that's kind of awesome, and it's the unofficial Linus Tech Tips forum Chrome extension, which can tell you all kinds of cool stuff that's going on. It can alert you when there are notifications. It can tell you when uh, we upload new videos, and maybe we should talk to the NCIX team about getting you guys integrated in there as well, and people can like select what feeds they want. Anyway, fantastic member of the Linus Tech Tips forum, Linus Forcell. His name is also Linus, it's not me, trust me, and he's not trying to sell me, it's not like that. But uh, he's developing it and it's like really friggin' awesome. Anyway, comment below and let us know what software you use a ton and think is fantastic, and maybe we'll check it out and make a future episode of Tech Tips Suggested Software. As always guys, don't forget to subscribe to NCIX.com, NCIX.com, I mean, a YouTube username, you can't, can't have a dot in it, so, you know, NCIX.com, it's like, uh, Oh, we are NCIX. Over. Like, I mean, the video's over.